Hey, so my friend Donnie is coming over to hang out, but little does he know it's content time. Oh, no, that's working at the MCA. You want water? Oh. Shut up. <laughs> Donnie's here. It wasn't hard at all convincing him to uh, participate in my game. I mean, I'm all for it. What, wait, what's the game? I don't know what it's called. It's called um, Write a TV Is Show. Kool Aid? This ain't one. Shut up! It's a uh, Oak Leaf. I've been drinking this since I turned 21. It's from Walmart. It only costs two dollars and ninety six cent. Uh oh, can you see? And it is. Donnie's saying that now, but wait till you get to it. Only ten percent. I feel like it used to be twelve. Um, I'm actually gonna sit right here. Way better visual. Yeah, that's a go. good one. That's a good one. Mm. So what are we doing today? So we just have to come up with ideas for a TV show. Just a premise. Like you can go as deep as you want to, but the main idea is just a premise. As many as we can back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna have you start off. Me first, okay. A family of robots live in Amsterdam. Their main job is rolling joints. But the problem is the youngest one um, gets that he's a robot and gets that he's used for this thing and wants to become a dancer. So the show is basically chronicling this family of robots um, trying to accept their youngest child not wanting to be a robot no more but to become a dancer. That actually might work. So I watched this show called... Uh... Love, Death, and Robots. On Sex Netflix. Show. I haven't watched it, but a podcast I listened to you Strip talk about it. Strippers, Dope Boys, and... What is it? Love, Sex, and robots. robots. Yeah, I think so. That'd be a good show for that. Just a little while. It was real robots on there? And a couple, so each... It's like uh, Twilight. So each, mm -hmm. each episode is different. It's like a different story, different... Some of the episodes are real life. Some are cartoons. Mm -hmm. Some are anim animated. So, uh, yeah. That'd be... I think uh, he over there stalling, y'all. It's, it's a definitely a word out there for that, but yeah. It's, <laughs> right, something. It's, I don't yeah, know. It's something. And I don't even know what that would look like. I actually um, would think about a premise for myself, actually. Mm -hmm. So check me out. Okay, okay. Real simple. We're going to go think comic book, mm -hmm. right? We're going we're gonna to go with that storyline. Little boy, teen. Mm -hmm. Teen. Neighborhood. Everybody know him in the neighborhood. Lives, up, lives upstairs on a bodega. Mm -hmm. Superhero vigilante at night. Has powers. Mm -hmm. But guess is where his powers lie. Where? And his do rag. Oh. So his do rag is his cape. Mm. So uh, he doesn't know where he come from, or doesn't know where he got these powers from. Of course, in the first season. Mm. But it changes colors. His do rag mm. depending on what power he uses. And he, what he does is he fights crime in, in the inner city, the black community, mm -hmm. uh, with the stuff we deal with, uh, with like drugs. Sex trafficking, he fights sex trafficking and police brutality, he stands on that. Mm -hmm. So he'll beat up a couple cops that's doing a little wrong in the neighborhood. And okay. his mom and dad own the corner store in the neighborhood that's been around for 20 some odd years. So mm. it's like they know who he is, but they don't know who he is. This sounds very New York. Well, only because you said Bodega. Only because I said Bodega. Right. It could be Chicago, it could be any big city. Hell, it could be in Lauderdale, for all I know, you know. But that's a, that mm -hmm. would be a premise song. I like superhero shows. Yeah, Speaking of, have you seen Marvel. Queen of Sugar yet? Yeah, I watched Queen of Sugar. I haven't. I seen mean, it not either. Queen of Sugar. Queen of Slim. No, I okay. haven't seen it. Okay. I haven't seen Queen of Slim. You gotta see that. I I, I plan on seeing it. My bad, y'all. That's okay. Okay, next show. Yeah. Um. A wine cellar. <laughs> The wise, kind of thinking about. Is um, this off the fly? Just off the fly. Just off the fly. <laughs> All right, cool. What's um, that one movie, Sausage Party? Think of Sausage Party, like um, inanimate objects living lives when the door is closed. Okay, like Toy Story. Right, right, right. So this is a wine cellar. I would have said, think of Toy Story. And it's. <laughs> True, true. Um, and it's kind of one of those variety shows. So it's a wine cellar, um, literally. And then like, so when the door finally closes, so we see like, we always see like 30 seconds of the family's life before we go into the wine cellar. It's just a 15 minute short. 
Um, so we see a little bit of the family's life and then the wine cellar closes um, and like whatever wine the family drank that night takes the spotlight in the middle of the cellar and kind of like tells the story of their life, where they were made, and kind of like what happened that night and how they feel now that's, that they've been drinking I, out that's of. Actually, uh, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. <laughs> this, this is what happens when you drink two ninety nine wine <laughs> from Walmart. Yeah. You become the wine. <laughs> that's actually creative. I think you should do a bunch of shorts. Okay. Five, ten minute videos. Shows. Just like voiceovers of fucking yeah, wine. Yeah, I mean, you mean you got Twilight, you got the sex love robots, mm. you got uh, it was a uh, Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. Is another. Well, big I was one. in the bath today or in the shower today. Remember that web series I wanted to write starring you, Tree? Yeah. It came. It's like even better now that weed's about to become legalized in Chicago yeah, no. because yeah. like the whole. Okay, so I wanted to write this web series called Tree, right? Because Donnie's like so tall, so get it, Tree. But also like quote unquote in this. In this film, he is a drug dealer, right? Supplying tree. And all the show is... A narcotics distributor. Right, right, right. Drug cannabis. So, cannabis um, uh, connoisseur. Yes, cannabis <laughs> connoisseur of such. Uh, but basically, the show is literally like just conversations Herbal between... Herbal healer. Get out of here. Conversations between <laughs> him and all of his customers. So that's like super easy to shoot. But mm -hmm. just like the premise of... They kind of have a show becoming like legalized. Ooh, what's that? Um, high maintenance. On, um, is it like video. reality or scripted? It's scripted, but oh, it, 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 it follows this dude. He's a regular weed dude on a bike in Black. New York. He white, uh, so you know, right? Uh, so, but he basically travels to different his dealers and kind of you kind of get a glimpse of their dealer, each dealer's lifestyle, like hey. per episode. So I mean, it's. I was kind of mad they did it. I'm gonna check them out. See, I mean, because ours is kind of different. It's it is different. Customers. It would be a little bit and more. And it's black. Right. It would be a little bit more urban, a little bit more. Uh, if we, yeah, if we made it. Is that it. on a network or just YouTube? It's on HBO, actually. Oh, I gotta check that out. Mm hmm. Haven't heard of it. The Human Body Order? High, what's it? Box Office? Something like that. Yeah, it's on HBO. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should. <laughs> yeah, HBO. You know, HBO. It's talking about me being drunk. You got one or I need to come up with another one? Oh, oh, that was yours. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess that technically don't count, huh? I could do another one. Oh, I did the wine cellar. Yeah, you did the wine. Um, what about what about stripping crime fighters? Mm -hmm. Why am I doing crime fighters? I guess I'm. A, <laughs> um, Donnie said the world is crazy. It, so. it is. Y'all been outside? It's, it's wild. Like we said, what we kind of strip, Chicago, stripping? What strippers? Uh huh. That's strip, uh -huh. cause I feel like strippers are athletes mm -hmm. and they they're in good shape. So they do their crime fighting in the daytime. Yeah, because Charlie, they can't do it at night. Fuck Charlie Sanders. We going. Mm -hmm. But uh, I definitely watched that show that came out. I don't know if it was owned or what, cause I watch all my TV on the Kingdom internet. Balance. But there is a new show called the Beyond the Pole. I was watching that show. Beyond the Pole. It was good. Wait, dude, it's another stripper movie out with uh Cardi B. Hustlers. What's it? What's it called? Hustlers. Did, did you see that? I did. Was and it, it good? Was, did they fight crime? They did not fight crime. They actually induced crime. They was um, drugging men. That, that's the premise of that movie. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, drugging so, men taking their money. So what Cardi B did when she said she used to she drug men. And and she Cardi B's that. not even that movie for 10 minutes. It's not even 10 minutes all together. Oh, I thought she was like... Nah, she's just like one of the... J-Lo is the main character. And then the mom from Fresh Off the Boat. Which I didn't even know that was the mom from Fresh Off the Boat until after. She did a really good job. Um, okay, crime fighting strippers. Okay, okay, that was that was just me because I just thought okay, of strippers okay. at that. Okay, so, um, I don't know. I, I, okay. you just like on the fly. I don't know. I'm out of control. <laughs> I guess I could have texted you and be like, "Dad, right, I walked in the door. We going vlogging." <laughs> I'm like, "We vlogging? Wait, oh, I didn't even. I don't got a book, a pen. I don't. All I got is this cup and this wine, and we just out here. I'm supposed to make up a movie. Like, I, 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 I What's another idea? Okay, um, maybe. Okay, maybe I have to give you like a theme, you can do that, right? And then you, you do, can do that, right? All right, so we can do that. Shoot okay. me something, and I can spin off that. In the mountains. Okay, check me out. We in the mountains, right? Whole civilization in the mountains. They never came out. Mm. They don't even know what's outside. Mm. All they know is in their mind that the world ended, and if they leave this mountain. They died. The air is poisonous. 
they can't go out there, but it's always somebody. It's always somebody that wants oh, to see more, that wants right. to go out. And she defies. Instagram. Huh? She must get Instagram. Yeah, yeah. She she got Instagram <laughs> in MySpace, and um, she there we go. She finds the old somebody old MySpace page on the internet because mm -hmm. they still got computers, I guess. And she sees a life outside of the mountains. I guess this life before this apocalypse, and so she gets a team together to try to escape, to try to live outside on the mountain. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> okay, no more wine and vlogging for me. <laughs> you ain't never had a chick from Slauson. I like holograms. I've never seen a hologram in a movie. What though. about a movie where the antagonist mm -hmm. is doing everything he can? He's this scientist of sort mm -hmm. that's doing everything he can to go back in time to change hip hop culture. To try to erase it. Make it, oh, I say make it less misogynistic. And you can, sure. Uh, I was talking about a dude that hates hip hop so much mm. that he's a scientist that develops a time machine that goes back in time to try to erase the history and the existence. And so he travels to different periods of time, the late 70s, he goes to the Bronx. Then he goes to the early 2000s. He goes to Atlanta, New Orleans. And is he just killing rappers? He's not killing rappers. He's trying to change the timeline. He's killing dreams. But the rappers come together on this united rapping front. Mm. And they just find a way. Oh, we got visitors. It's okay. <laughs> we got visitors. <laughs> Who's that? Let's see. Hello. Hello, Sweet. What, what, what's your name? Salise. Oh, have y'all oh, met? No. Nice Salise, this is Donnie. Yeah. Actually, Donnie's from Florida, too. Salise went to USF with me. Ah. Yeah. I went to FAU. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Cool. Are you okay. from Florida? Yes. What part? Jacksonville. Dufa. Okay. Respect. Respect. Would you say you're from Boca Raton? No, no, no. I'm from Florida. <laughs> okay. Florida. Okay. I'm not from Boca. I, Donnie is from Boca Raton. Fair enough, though. No. Boca is my second home. Oh. It is my second oh, home. Oh, Oh, this one good. Oh, alright. 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 Amen. <laughs> well, I think we did like four each. I don't know so many Florida people in Chicago. Yes. I'm going to start a, a Facebook page with Florida Floridians in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's like 50 degrees down there and they're struggling. Meanwhile, we pray for 50 degrees. But this is definitely Instagram 60 degrees with like she was bird cold. 60 degrees, that's motherfucking Mayweather. <laughs> like, and we gonna call that that movie The Attack on Rap. The Attack on Rap. Okay. All right, well, that's all I got for you. <laughs> we still got $2 wine left though, so. Yes, we do. It's $2.96. Oof, excuse me. Not proud.